The other day, I was thinking how I could bring up one of my favorite media franchises of all time, Fire Emblem, in a video here on this channel. I then got to thinking about what aspect of these video games by Nintendo that I enjoy so much. And it is actually the stories and the main themes within them. The main theme across every story told in this 30 plus year old series is unity. And I figured that is pretty on theme for this channel. So let's talk about it. Fire Emblem is a tactical RPG created by Intelligent Systems and published by Nintendo. The series began back in 1990 with Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and the Blade of Light. Quite the title. The story theme of being unified is baked into the core identity of the franchise from the beginning. Creator Shozo Kaga's original concept for the series was to create a game with real people instead of faceless soldiers, like in the Famicom Wars series that was active at the time. These characters in Fire Emblem would eventually be known for their unique personalities and traits. Each of them has their own dreams, failures, strengths, and weaknesses, so they feel like real people when they are done right. Each of the currently 17 mainline entries has its own unique plot from the others, minus a few games that did eventually get sequels, but this theme of unity is throughout them all regardless. The idea is that all of these people need to band together to stop some dark force, typically an evil dragon. The theme of unity is even baked in how these stories are experienced by players. The games play out like a game of chess, but instead of basic pieces you command real characters. This goes a step further still because each character has their own stats, which indicate what they are strong in. The goal of the player is to utilize each unit's strengths and complement their weaknesses. Let's relate this to real life for a moment. This is not too far off from how Christians as a unified front, the church, should be. Each one of us has our own strengths, but also weaknesses. It is the goal of having a church for us to band together to complement what each of us is and is not capable of. The best leaders are the ones that understand they cannot do everything alone. This concept of unifying for the greater good is the mentality we Christians should have about life. We may not be unifying to defeat a dragon, as is usually the case in Fire Emblem tropes, but we are supposed to be unifying for the spiritual warfare going on in all of our lives. If we don't and we choose to be prideful and arrogant that we can do it all on our own with minimal help, we will all struggle way more. Unity is the only way we can make an impact on this world. Just look at the sinful and secular groups of the world around us. They are only growing, and I believe this is because they are un uniting for a cause they truly believe in. Meanwhile, we have made church to be very political, in that now it is a question whether or not our primary goal is truly more important than the minor differences between us. We need church leaders who won't be arrogant about which denomination of church they align with. The moment leaders turn denominations into a holy war, we will never be unified under them. I am all for standing up for what we believe in, but we must never lose sight of our main goal in this world, to glorify God, imitate Christ, and preach truth to a lost world. I believe it is time for an awakening. It's never a question for the characters to work together, because if they don't, it usually means the end of the world, or at least to their homeland. This tells me that most Christians don't really believe what they claim to. Think about it. If they did, then we would see more action taking place. We have knowledge to save the world, but we keep that in most of the time, don't we? God bless.